What should you do when you're out fishing and your partner misses a fish? What do you do? Good morning, guys and girls. August 31. Golly, we've used up another month. We've used up another month. You know what the great thing is? We get to turn the calendar. We get to turn the calendar. And when we turn the calendar, we know that sometime throughout this month, usually about the middle of the month, cooler fronts are going to start coming in more frequently. We have a few cool fronts during the winter, during the summertime, but they might drop it from 110 to 95, which is great. But those fronts are going to start coming in, and we're going to start having some beautiful, beautiful fall days. Fishing's going to be great. We're reading from uh, 2 Timothy 3.16. Timothy has two scriptures in there. This is where Paul is writing to his young preacher that he was mentoring, Timothy. 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture, every word in that Bible is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. We all want to be righteous. For instruction in righteousness to tell us how to be the kind of people God wants us to be. Here's what I wrote about it. This is the Catch a Better Life book. It's available at jimmyhouston.com, just about every bookstore around the country, plus Bass Pro and Cabela's. Some of us have hundreds and hundreds of fishing lures. Some of us have thousands and thousands. Can we actually catch a fish on all of them? You bet we can. The trick is using the right lure under the right conditions at the right time. I might add, you need to be at the right place as well. You got to stop your boat. You got to walk up to the bank where the fish are. We don't have to be using the best lure that we have in every situation. Absolutely not. But every lure that we have, every lure that we own will catch fish. Listen to me again. Every lure that we have will catch fish. Paul, the Apostle Paul, was telling us and telling Timothy in today's scripture that all of God's word is for your good. Every single word. Every single word. The word in this verse that I like is profitable. <laughs> you know, I like the word profitable. You know, we've heard past presidents and the current president say that this is not the time to make a profit. And yeah, I don't buy that. I think all the time is the time to make a profit. That means God's word will make us better off. You hear me? God's word will make us better off. Now, not financially, although he will provide for us financially as well. But it will make us better off as people. That's right as people, as husbands, as wives, as moms, dads, grandmas, granddads. God created us to be exceptional people. God created you. God created me not to be ordinary, not to be average, not to be good, exceptional. Everything that you do and think about, think about, I'm exceptional. God made me to be, be that way, and I'm going to be exceptional today no matter what. God created us to be full of joy. God created us to be full of happiness. Whenever you feel down, do you have a problem? I know you do. I do. Whenever you feel down, you have a problem, grab that Bible. Grab that Bible. Open it anywhere. I'm not even going to give you a verse to go look at. Open it anywhere. God will do the rest. God will do the rest. Open it anywhere. You can shut your eyes and put, put your finger down there on it. And I promise you, God's going to say something that helps you. God's going to say, say, say something to you in his word that will help rise you up to that exceptional person that he created you to be. Here's our tip for today. <laughs> oh, it's courteous. It's courteous to not throw at a fish your partner misses. <laughs> what do you do when your partner misses the fish? Don't throw your lure right back over there where that fish is. <laughs> if I violated that rule, Absolutely. Has everyone that's ever fished with me violated that rule? Probably. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.